BlackBerry may be struggling as an OEM right now, but the Z30 is out on select carriers in Canada and available unlocked through retailers. I'll get into that in just a second, but first a spec rundown of BlackBerry's newest smartphone, the BlackBerry Z30, which brings a five inch display, that larger display form factor to the BlackBerry platform, making it compete with things like the Galaxy S4, the HTC One, the LG G2, and more. The Z30 is packing a 1.7 gigahertz dual core CPU. It's got BlackBerry 10.2. It's got an eight megapixel camera on the back with 1080p HD video recording capabilities, a two megapixel front facing shooter, two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. You've got a ton of different goodies on this, a big battery that's non-removable, but it's 2,880 milliamp hours. And then you've got, of course, capabilities for LTE depending on what country you're in and more. The display is five inches, it's 720p, it's a super AMOLED display with 294 PPI and the official pixel count 720 by 1280 pixels. No real differences here in comparison to other devices we've seen from BlackBerry. Here's the device itself, you can immediately tell that five inch display, nice and big in comparison to the Z10 and in comparison to the Q10 as you can see by the display size. Eight megapixel camera on the back, we'll let that boot up really quickly right there while we take a look and see what comes in the box. Now, you've got your instruction manuals, you've got your earbuds, and I should point out this is a review unit box, so the USB cable is missing, but you do get a USB cable as well, and then an AC adapter module, it looks to be, in this case, the British, or the UK, I should say, AC adapter module. So you get that, a USB cable and earbuds. Nice little goodies out of the box in comparison to what we see in most boxes and US carriers. You get like the AC adapter module, you get the USB cable, and that's about it, save for some instruction manuals. So nice to see some goodies out of the box. This thing is loading up right now. Taking a look at the overall look and feel of this device, similar in a lot of ways to the BlackBerry Z10, although you'll immediately, immediately rather notice you've got this bottom lip on the Z30 but you don't have it on the top. So a bigger display here, a little bit of a different form factor. You've got your volume rockers over here on the side with your voice control button. You've got two areas right there. We think possible AT&T splash screen, even though this is an unlocked device, an unbranded device, AT&T splash screen did just pop up. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, power button up top, camera on the back, typical BlackBerry look and feel here on the back, kind of a carbon fiber and still kind of matte touchback, if you will, and then over here on the side, HDMI, micro USB charging port, and then you can pull off the battery door to access the micro SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot, both which sit right there. Battery is non-removable, like I said, but you do have the ability to add a micro SD card slot. Now this is running BlackBerry 10.2, so the newest version, or one of the newest versions of BlackBerry's user interface, and it's got a lot of the same features we talked about when we looked at the BlackBerry Z10. You can see the overall flow is very similar here, and I was messing around with this. I sent a text message to one of my demo phone numbers that I have, and then of course, new time zone. You can see BlackBerry Hub here, which is kind of your central message spot for things like text messages, BBMs, emails, and more. You get calls here, pin messages, emergency alerts, and more. This is gonna be the brain of your BlackBerry device. The hub is where you get your messages, your be it emails, be it text messages, and more. And you can swipe back and forth between that just by swiping to the left when you're on the app screen. Now, speaking of the app screen here, you can see, like I said, overall, functionally speaking, very similar look and feel when I load up something like Twitter, for example, and then scroll back out of it or back out of the application. I've got that area where my applications are open. Go ahead and hit OK there just so you can see what it looks like to have two applications open. You've got that, and then of course, to get to BlackBerry Hub, you just swipe right over and you can access that immediately. Now, BBM is now available on Android and on iOS. So you've got the ability to access your friends on Android and on iOS, assuming they got in to the BBM application on their respective platforms. You can take advantage of that by going to BBM. And I did set this up and it actually brought in contacts from a previous, probably the Z10 or the Q10 that I was working with. But you can see contacts list there. That's what it looks like. You've got your chats. I've got groups as well. The ability to invite and do things like that. Typical BlackBerry look and feel here. Blue buttons up at the top. And then of course I can swipe to the left to access individual things within that application. So for example, because I'm in BBM right now, I can access my chats, my BBM contacts, my groups, my updates, my invites, and more. And to swipe out, all I have to do is swipe up from the BlackBerry logo right there. And you can see that some of these cards, if you will, work in real time, where for example, it's saying innocent change display picture, and you'll see that rotate out depending on how long that card stays open. Now out of the box here, you do get typical BlackBerry stuff. BlackBerry World, as you would expect. I know recent apps to the left, thank you. Go ahead and click out of that. And I don't wanna see these tutorials anymore. I would really like to be able to get rid of those. But anyway, 
my AT&T stuff, and you'll see some AT&T stuff that loaded up as a result of me putting an AT&T SIM card here. Now, I'm only getting 4G, I'm not getting LTE right now, so I'm getting HSPA+. And then, of course, I've got my browser opened up. And then, of course, Facebook. I'm not sure why that's staying right there. That is a very strange little conundrum. Anyway, we'll go through anyway and take a look here. YouTube, newsstand, maps, games, as you can see, weather, typical BlackBerry stuff combined with some AT&T apps that auto-downloaded or auto-appeared as a result of me having the SIM card. And then, of course, tutorials here as well. Perhaps I'm not done with the tutorials. Yes, I know how to do this. Let's go ahead and say navigating the home screen. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I know, I know, thank you. Let's see if we can, funny I can back out of it, but it didn't approve. Okay, continue, continue, I know. And it's making me walk through this tutorial, continue. We'll continue here too, you know. Maybe you wouldn't expect it, but I do actually know how to operate this. Yep, yep, okay, okay. Home screen, good to have these though, considering the fact that BlackBerry 10 is still a relative and it's still there for whatever reason. I'll take a look at that in the full review. Hopefully I can get that removed for you before we start into the review. But down here at the bottom, you see shortcuts to search, to the phone, and to the camera as well. Easy to click, snap a picture, and it puts it in the gallery right there. And I can easily access that by going down here to the bottom and taking a look. And from there, I can edit the picture and get it all prepped up for Facebook. I can antique it up. I can 60s it up and save it and get it ready for Facebook, Twitter, or all my social media networks. So I've got that ability right there. I've got Weather, Evernote, remember all the stuff you would expect. And let's take a quick look here. Five inch display. We'll go into text messages. We'll continue this thread that I was doing with this demo phone number that I have. So we'll say something like, How are you doing today? Thanks for the information. Let me know how it goes. So just typing, not looking at the display. Portrait to landscape here, relatively quick. You've got five inches to work with here. Portrait, really nice keyboard to use. I like five inches. I think it's a great sweet spot for a lot of people. I know I say that all the time, but particularly when typing, great to use this. And it's nice to see BlackBerry's keyboard working well on a five inch display. And I can come here, for example, and click, and I can change. I can add that word to the dictionary, or I can go and change it to a couple of different suggested words, as you saw right there. And then likewise, when I go back to goes, for example, how, and I can say ever if I want to, and it shows it right there, ER, boom, hey, and you'll see that the space bar automatically turns into a real-time button where I can just add those right away.